so today can't believe I'm even here right now. Hello. Just now I was at the Beckman Center for the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine here in Irvine, California, in Orange County, Southern California, right across the street from my alma mater, UC Irvine. Um, this baseball field is close by the National Academies of Science here in Irvine. As you can see, it is the Cicerone Field at Anteater Ballpark. Uh, the late, great Dr. Ralph J. Cicerone, he was the chancellor of UC Irvine when I was graduating from here 20 years ago. Uh, and that's when I got to give a student commencement speech for the School of Engineering the day I was getting my two bachelor's degrees in mechanical and aerospace engineering. And I'll never forget how kind the late Dr. Cicerone was uh, just throughout different processes that I was involved with on campus in uh, my last couple of years as an undergrad. But when he came up to thank me genuinely for the speech that I made, getting into ethics in in academia, in society, in STEM, and just a few months after 9-11, and a year before the U.S. invasion of Iraq. I remember being told I couldn't be too political in that speech. Conservatives and liberals would be in the audience, at graduation, and on stage behind me, administration and faculty, but, you know, I told folks I got to get my message across. Uh, and so it, it was of even more value for me and my family to get praise, particularly from the late Ralph J. Cicerone. And I kept him up to date, you know, over the next couple of years about different shifts in my life and family and in crisis. And then as an artist, uh, fortunately, he passed away in 2016. And I didn't get a chance to share with him my life in the time since, particularly after the election of 2016 here in the United States, the increase of so much progressive social justice activism, including in the sciences and in STEM. And that would have me reconnect more fully with STEM and with different parts of, I guess, interdisciplinary and intersectional approaches in life. So while it's very complicated for me to be back here at my um, beloved but heartbreaking alma mater, UC Irvine, 20 years after that graduation speech, here in another complex sociopolitical era, it is profound that bigger institutions at the governmental level, nonprofits, corporate, are seeing that they have to do better on aspects like equity, diversity, inclusion, justice, community in STEM, in the sciences, in academia, hence the conference that I just attended, Reimagining Science Communication by the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. Um, you know, I'll still have to kind of process my thoughts and feelings on all of that, you know, just ended. And the fact that, again, I'm standing here at this place I love so much, not just this ballpark, this university, but one where a lot of very painful emotions are, are hitting me. Um, because a few months after, you know, telling folks my trauma from the 2019 UC Irvine Engineering Hall of Fame induction ceremony of mine, and in the years since, um, I still have yet to get a proper response from the administration of this university and of the, the whole University of California System Board of Regents, uh, things I talked about in, you know, in my film, Just Tell Us. So, yeah, but right now in this moment, I just want to smile and think of uh, my late dear friend, somebody who inspired a lot of folks, Ralph J. Cicerone, Cicerone Field, Anteater Ballpark by 
UC University of California, Irvine. And just up the road, um, you know, you you were there with me today in, in trying to fight for better futures, you know, for different communities, for the world. So we'll see. We'll see. There's probably more I can get into, but uh, hello, <laughs> surprise, I'm in town, everybody. Um, much love, much love. So many people are hurting, especially now. Here in June 2022, not just stateside, but globally.